Hey, it's Jeff with JW Designs. Thanks for stopping in and checking out the channel. A friend of mine just recently asked me to make a display case for her, and that is what today's project is all about. Hopefully along the way you learn some things that help you to do something similar. There was sun and there was rain. Beauty in the Monday. And as the light startled our eyes. This project began by acquiring everything needed to make the display case. The acrylic panels, the weld on number four for acrylics, and the wood base you can see here. The duck and ducklings were made from wool as a gift for my friend. She's a teacher in one of our local schools. The first thing I needed to do for this is layout. I tend to think in terms of what is pleasing to the eye regarding the base size and acrylic box going over the top. It's just a matter of starting with what you have and making the best of it. When cutting acrylic panels, you have to be careful of chip out. That's the reason I have the panels surrounded with plywood here at the compound miter saw. This keeps the corners intact as the blade passes through the material. I'm trying to stack the panels so I can get an inside measurement for braces. This will enable me to clamp the project together for welding. the ends of the box to size at the compound miter saw. By cutting the acrylic with plywood on either side, you end up with a nice polished edge. A bigger scale the world in as we go. Now that everything is to size, it's time to take the film off the panels. Here you can see I am laying the ends of the box on the plywood so I can cut the plywood for the braces I mentioned earlier. This will help me have some strength for clamping. If I were to do this project again, I would be more careful with the placement of the box as I weld it together. If the solvent pools in an area, it mars the surface of the acrylic, so the only thing you can do is sand and polish. This is one of the happy accidents I experienced with this project, but it turns out to be a good solution in the end. It did take some time to clamp this together. I had to be sure everything was exactly where I wanted it. When it comes to assembly, it's critical to take your time and make sure the materials you're putting together are where you want them. Once the panels were in the right place, it was time to use the weld on number four to weld the panels together. The kit came with a welding agent and a bottle with a small nozzle for putting the liquid where I wanted it. It was pretty easy to do because the fluid went into the joint and seeped right into place. Today's bad dad joke is all about a sprinter. Do you know what a sprinter eats before they run? Nothing, they fast.
This is the point I realize I have a problem with the top panel. The welding liquid pooled and marred the surface of the acrylic, so to solve the problem, I looked up how to take adhesive off of acrylic. This led me to the solution I landed on to sand, starting with 180 grit, going to 220 grit, and then finishing with 320 grit. This ended up being a good solution because it's in a classroom with lots of littles. Because it's frosted on the ends and the top, there are fewer fingerprints. Who knew? I went with the hickory base for the display case. I hogged out material on the ends and the sides so the box fit over the raised panel with very little play. If I had this to do over again, I would do something similar to a juice groove on a cutting board. The acrylic box would sit right in place protected by a channel cut out by a router bit. But the solution I chose still works very well. As with most projects I sand, I start with 80 grit, move to 120 grit, and finish with 220 grit. This always ends up with a nice, smooth finish. With this project, I used Odie's oil for the finish. It brings out the character in the wood while protecting it well. I used a double-sided tape on the bottom of the ducks in a row piece. This helped make sure the piece didn't move around, whether it was bumped or messed with by littles. Today's project taught me some new skills and techniques, and for that I'm grateful. As with any project, you may possibly have happy accidents that occur. This teaches us to adapt and overcome as we create. Till next time, keep making sawdust.